this is Zafreen Ansari. I'm your science teacher. Today I will teach you biology. In this session, by doing some deep breathing. Take a deep breath in, hold and breathe out. Repeat again. So are you feeling fresh and energetic? You might say yes. So what we are doing, what this process is called? You might say it is a breathing and we are doing respiration. Is it? Breathing is a respiration. No. Breathing is a part of the respiration. So, question is this. What is respiration? Respiration is the metabolic process which breaks down the food and release energy. So today our topic is respiration. So, let's explore the human respiratory system here. It is completed in a three stages. First is breathing. Second is gaseous exchange. And third is internal respiration. The air, the air enters the human body through our nostrils. These two holes called nostrils. Which then passes into the nasal cavity. From here, this air passes into the pharynx, which is the common passage, passage for the food and air. This pharynx is the common passage for food and air. So you can you can see easily. Okay, it is visible easily. If you will open your mouth, you can see the pharynx. Yes, behind behind your tongue, it is the pharynx. After pharynx, it will goes to the larynx. So pharynx is followed by the larynx, which is the voice box. Okay, larynx is the voice box. Then from here, this air passes into the four inch long tube. Called trachea. It's a trachea. After passing into the trachea, it will divide it into two tubes. It will divide it into two tubes. It's called bronchi. The single word is bronchus. Okay, this bronchus will divide it into further secondary, secondary bronchi. And this secondary bronchi is divided into further divided into tertiary bronchi. And this tertiary bronchi will enter into the cluster like structure, which is also called sac like structure. It's an alveoli. Ultimately, the air will pass into the alveoli of the lungs. Okay. So, first, from the surrounding environment, it will pass into the nostrils, from nostrils to nasal cavity. Okay. After this, pharynx. Pharynx is the common passage for food and air. After pharynx, larynx is followed by the pharynx. So, it is a voice box. Larynx is the voice box. From voice box, it will pass into the four inch long tube called trachea. And trachea will divide it into two branches called bronchi. And bronch after, after reaching into the bronchi, it will go into the secondary bronchi. And will, uh, from secondary bronchi, to it, is, it will be further divided into the tertiary bronchi. And ultimately, in the alveoli, which is the cluster like structure present in the lungs. And from alveoli, this lungs is surrounded by the neck like structure that of blood vessels okay so from alveoli this is the alveoli from alveoli it will pass into the blood vessels here some rbc's are present which air will pass into the rbc's okay so from alveoli it will pass into the rbc's this is the process of the breathing but this side is called gaseous exchange From alveoli to blood vessels. Here, exchange, sorry, gaseous exchange will take place. And from blood vessels to next blood vessels. And then into the cell. Okay. From uh, blood vessels to next blood vessels. And into the cell. So, what happened in the cell? Here, internal respiration. 
internal respiration will take place so what happened in the cell it is a cell here glucose is present which is and which is coming from the digestive system if you have studied well the digestive system then you know from where glucose is coming here so glucose plus oxygen what happened here in the presence of the oxygen glucose will break down into the three carbon pyruvate so uh, we have discussed here first is breathing second is gaseous exchange third is internal respiration respiration this is the part of the breathing here oxygen is coming into the human body through the respiratory tract into the lungs from alveoli to blood vessels it is a gaseous exchange site okay here will be a gaseous exchange takes place and from gas uh, from the rbcs it will bring into the cell and will break down to the uh, break down glucose into a pyruvate so it will be occurs in the presence of oxygen okay so we have discussed here these three stages of the respiration so breathing is not only a respiration it is the part of the respiration here we will discuss the next point types of respiration types of respiration it is of two types first is aerobic respiration and second is anaerobic respiration here we will discuss types of respiration first is aerobic respiration and second is anaerobic respiration what is aerobic respiration which occurs in present in the presence of oxygen okay it always occur in the presence of oxygen and anaerobic respiration it will complete in absence of oxygen or lack of oxygen okay so now we will try to understand this by the reaction okay glucose 6 carbon break down into pyruvate which is 3 carbon and pyruvate will break down into lactic acid plus energy energy plus water molecule plus carbon dioxide it occurs mainly in yeast you can see in yeast and you, this lactic acid you can see in muscles this both will occur in absence of oxygen in absence of oxygen it occurs in the mitochondria and this process will complete in the cytoplasm cytoplasm of the cell so let's try to understand this by the reaction okay in anaerobic respiration there are two types first is lactic acid form first is uh, alcoholic fermentation and second is lact lactic acid fermentation so respiration may take place in different conditions like lack of oxygen absence of oxygen and presence of oxygen so uh, the first step in all three condition is breakdown of glucose into pyruvate this six carbon uh, glucose will break down into three carbon pyruvate it always complete in the cytoplasm as we know it always complete in a cytoplasm of cell and this whole this whole reaction in anaerobic in anaerobic respiration will complete in cytoplasm of the cell but in aerobic respiration means proper respiration this proper respiration will complete first in the cytoplasm of the cell and after uh, break down into the pyruvate pyruvate after uh, till the pyruvate it will complete in the cytoplasm and will continue into the mitochondria mitochondria is the power house of the cell as uh, everyone knows mitochondria is the power house of the cells it will complete break down and energy will release in the form of atp this energy will utilize to synthesize the atp here 38 molecule of atp will synthesized by one one glucose okay and carbon dioxide will release out and water will be released out we are try to understand what is happening in the cell what is happening in the cell here is uh, separate is glucose which all which is already present in the cell and when uh, oxygen will come in the cell what happened in that condition if it is a cell of a human being or animal then it will always be a 
proper respiration proper respiration mean proper respiration means it will start in cytoplasm of the cell and will continue into the mitochondria means we are talking about the aerobic respiration and in this case this an aerobic respiration here oxygen is not present so this pyruvate will not completely break down and release energy it will break down into a lactic acid means in our muscle cells okay it will always take place in the muscle cells so lactic acid will form here and energy will release out here in an aerobic respiration very less amount of energy will release out like only 2 a only 2 atp will synthesize here okay in both of the reaction 2 atp only synthesize in an aerobic respiration and here alcoholic fermentation this pyruvate will break down into the ethanol ethanol or alcohol both are same so ethanol it will it will not completely break down it will break down into the ethanol then energy and carbon dioxide will release okay it so now what happened it is the last tissue of the lungs alveoli from alveoli it will pass into the blood vessels and blood blood vessels from blood vessel it will pass into the cell here who will bring the oxygen rbcs this rbcs will bring the oxygen and bring back carbon dioxide from the cell to the outside of the human body so oxygen will come through the respiratory tract to the cell and carbon dioxide which are releasing during this process it will release out from the body this is the inspiration these two term are known as inspiration and expiration inspiration and expiration now we will discuss here respiration in plants okay first topic is respiration in plants plants are stationary so their energy requirement is less and the process of respiration is lower as compared to that of animals in plants all parts takes place respiration like root stem and leaves the roots and the stems what happened in the leaves the gases exchange takes place through the stomata what are stomata stomata are present at the base of the leaves of the and or the margin of the leaves okay these are the small opening pores which are present at the base of the leaves these are the small opening which is uh, surrounded by the gut cells these uh, these stomata are present at the base of the leaves these are very small opening minute pores are present so in leaves gases enter through the stomata from here uh, the gas will enter into the leaves and oxygen will release out leaves gases enters through the stomata during this uh, during respiration plants make use of the oxygen which is released during the process of the photosynthesis okay thus photosynthesis and respiration go on simultaneously so in plants uh, respiration takes place by the stomata which is present at the base of the leaves and by the lenticels which are present at the bark of the tree or uh, by the root hair which is also present in the root uh, or uh, epidermal cell so it is uh, in the plants it takes place by the stomata lenticels epidermal cell or root now respiration in animals here gaseous exchange gaseous exchange aquatic animal second one is gaseous exchange in the terrestrial animal 
So most of the animals living in the water, they use uh, oxygen which is dissolved in the water. So uh, the rate of the oxygen which is dissolved in the water is much lower than that of the oxygen which is present in the atmosphere. Therefore, the breathing rate is very faster in the aquatic animal. They breathe rapidly, rapidly to accumulate the oxygen, more and more oxygen. Okay. Most of the animals having the gills for the gaseous exchange. Access, exchange of gases in the terrestrial animals. What they will do? They take up oxygen from the atmosphere. This oxygen is absorbed by the different organs in a different animals. But the process of diffusion is common. So for example, in frogs, frogs uh, breathe through their uh, skins and as well as uh, surface of the lungs. Birds having a air sex and lungs also. And in mammals, the uh, gases exchange takes place by the alveoli of the lungs. So let's conclude the topic. Air enters into the human body through the nostrils. Nostrils, which then passes into nasal cavity. This nasal cavity will open into a very wide cavity called pharynx, which is a common passage for food and air. This pharynx will followed by the larynx. It is the voice box. From larynx it will pass into the trachea and from trachea to bronchus or bronchi. From bronchi to secondary bronchi and from secondary bronchi to tertiary bronchi. And ultimately it will pass into the alveoli. From alveoli to blood vessels and then into the cell. So uh, air will pass from the nostrils to the last alveoli. These are involving in the breathing. So from alveoli to the blood vessels, it is the actual site for the gaseous exchange. Okay. Gaseous exchange which takes place between alveoli and blood vessels. Then internal respiration. Internal respiration. Okay. So this is the, it will complete inside the cell. So this happened inside the cell. So by this reaction, energy will release and synthesize ATPs. These ATPs will used as a fuel for other activities. So this energy will synthesize ATP. 38, one molecule of glucose will synthesize a descriptive video for the respiratory system. If you want to study our details of the respiratory system, so please do the comment in the comment box and hit like share and subscribe the channel and yes don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you could get the notification as well thank you have a nice day